Hey Taurus, thank you so much for coming to uh, your weekly love reading. Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sometimes, especially if there's multiple cross watchers, by the way, welcome, welcome cross watchers. Uh, sometimes energy can be flipped or reversed. Just kind of depends, but usually the situation is pretty consistent. Um, anyways, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, too, please feel free to comment. I love reading what you guys are writing and interacting with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah, pretty pretty much comment. I like, I like to talk to you guys. And with that being said, Taurus, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Who is Taurus's person of interest romantically? Who are they interested in romantically or who's coming in for Taurus? Who is Taurus in romantically or who's coming in for them? Second through 30. Okay, Taurus, you may have a Pisces or a Aquarius coming in for you. Or this can be a whole new relationship. Maybe you guys don't know each other yet. I don't know. Um, how does Taurus feel about this person romantically? Ten of Cups, that's Pisces energy. It's kind of interesting how it's that Pisces Aries. It, they could have, or Pisces Aquarius. They may have that Pisces Aquarius cusp. So I do want to throw that out there. All right. Um, what is the current situation or issue between Taurus and their person? Okay, Two of Pentacles, possibly a Capricorn, or just the Daily Grind. What is um, what is an external influence or block for these two romantically? Okay, Queen of Swords, possibly a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, uh, but very much cardinal energy. So I would go with Libra and Cancer. A Cancer can also be the block here, um, but they may not be like cancer sun if they could the other person possibly can have like a cancer moon cancer rising cancer mercury those kind of things all right what's the best potential outcome here for love and romance for taurus uh what is the uh best potential outcome romantically for taurus and their person of interest okay judgment some type of transformation is happening that's definitely uh scorpio energy so I do think for whatever reason, there is something very new happening. And, and it may just be because we just had a new moon, right? Where things are shifting, things are feeling different, things are coming to a conclusion, coming to a head. It definitely can be something that, you know, you've waited for for a very long time or you've decided to walk away from a situation and maybe walk towards somebody new even though you have this person down here who's kind of dragging along, like, please don't leave me. I'm sorry. Just come back. Okay. Listen, no. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go on a shopping spree or not? Nah? Then you're like, wait a minute. Let me, let me think about this. Um, no, but seriously, I feel like this is you moving forward. I feel like you're very, very persistent right now and focused on having a level of forward movement. And I do think that that's because either this person, your person um, that you're currently with is transforming into something different, right? Or because there's some type of new offer that's on the table that's giving you the strength to say, hey, fuck it, get the hell off me. I gotta go, right? It's it's almost like, remember the Titanic where like Rose and Jack are on, like they're in the water, right? And she's on this big ass board and she's sprawled out, okay? And she's like, oh, Jack, I'll never let you go. And then like two seconds later, she like prizes like little cold fingers off of her and like gives him like the one, two skidoo, kicks his ass into the water, you know, knowing good and goddamn well, he can hop on, right? However, it's dead weight. So I kind of feel like that's the situation here. Not trying to like make that type of, you know. But I feel like Taurus, like you're being very like, no, you are not serving my higher good. You need to go ahead and, 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 and kick rocks, right? All right, rant over. Um, this is your person of interest. I do want to say this because some people get very stuck on the signs. We all have multiple placements, planetary placements, right? And... Um, a lot of times, like, we don't know everybody's planetary, you know, placements. And um, so if I'm saying Aquarius and Pisces, and maybe that's not their sun sign, maybe they have, you know, 
um, a Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, or something like that, right? Also, too, I give you guys the signs because you guys are curious, and that's why I do it. However, I do think that we should be focusing on solely on their characteristics, okay? All right, so we have the full here. So this is either a new start, a new person, uh, or this is, you know, somebody who's kind of just going with the process. Can you give me more information on Taurus's person of interest romantically? King of Swords, possibly um, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or even a Leo you guys can be dealing with. This person is highly analytical. They're more of a masculine energy, Taurus, where I feel like your energy is more feminine, right? Like you guys, I feel like for some, you know, for a lot of you guys are very intuitive. You know, you guys can sense when things are happening. You're nurturing, you, you know, make decisions based off experiences. You know, you're very expressive and those kind of things where I feel like this person is very logical based. Sometimes I feel like they can be detached emotionally. They're very much in their head. However, I feel like this person is definitely somebody who interests you and um, they're very charming as well. More information on this King of Swords, please. Okay, King of Pentacles, you see what I'm saying? This person, you could have met them at work. This person can be a boss or a business owner. This person is uh, well off financially, or this person is finally going from the fool to this king. It could be too like that transformation, right? Right, like I said over here. If this isn't a brand new person, this is somebody from your past that stepped forward who's always looked like an idiot or done stupid shit. And now all of a sudden, it's like they're transforming into the husband or wife, you know, that you want. They're transforming into this family-oriented person who is really valuing, you know, relationships, right? Also, too, this person is very giving. If you guys can see, this energy, this king energy, that's very masculine energy, okay? Um, and when I say masculine, I don't mean male or female. Again, like this person is more so that action type where, you know, they're more the active and giving where, you know, the feminine energy is passive and receptive. So they're really putting in the effort and taking the time into trying to, you know, give you what you need. It may be an Aquarius, I'm going to be honest. I do think at times, because this is definitely Aquarius and Aquarius, Venus, Venus and Aquarius or whatever, five of swords. I definitely feel like at times this person may come across as detached or a little bit calculated. And sometimes I think that, you know, you may question, like, are they telling the truth? Are they just doing this so that they win my trust? Like, what is, where are they going with this, right? One card, please, for Taurus's person of interest romantically. Four of wands, they also can be in Aries. This person has a level of stability, okay? I really do feel like they're putting forth the effort and attention that is needed in order to be with you. I think that they're taking, you know, the bull by the horns and, and really trying to make, you know, this situation very harmonious, right? And uh, there is a level of intimacy here. And that is, um, I think that's Venus and Aries. I do. I, I, I just feel strongly, like, I really do. Like, I, I feel like this is a very playful energy. It's not super heavy. However, I do think that you are, you know, enjoying it for how it is. It's, it's very playful, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. All right. How you feel about this person is the Ten of Cups. So, I think that you see the potential. I think that this person does make you very, very happy. However, I do think that you question some secrets or there's something that you question here. What else? With justice, okay? Possibly a Libra. Maybe they're a Libra rising. Um, I'm saying this is because it's how do you feel about this person? A Libra rising or Libra moon or Libra Venus. And that's because it's your perception of them, right? Um, I think that you feel like they're very well balanced. I think that you see that right now, it's like they're saying something and then they're following it up. 
And this may be surprising for you. And as I said that the Princess of Cups wanted to pop, pop up, which is the Page of Cups, right? Um, three of Wands. Okay, why is Justice there at the Three of Wands? Because you've been waiting for a level of action here. <clears throat> the Three of Wands is, I think, Aries. That's, that's Aries' son. Sun and Aries or something like that. So you could have been waiting for this person to really show their intentions and really make a move. They also can be at a distance from you, but it's almost like you're waiting for them to take action. You're waiting because remember, uh, you're more so the feminine energy right now where they're, they have to come to you and not necessarily you to them. What's Taurus waiting for? Ace of Cups. You're waiting for this person to make you an offer of love. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. You see? Because right now, the physical part of your guys' relationship may be fine. All right? Not the passionate portion of it or the emotional portion, but... You see how it's nine of pentacles? So that's definitely Virgo. Um, Venus and Virgo, where they love very critically, right? It has to make logical sense. It's not being driven from necessarily an emotional standpoint, a heart pulling standpoint. Like this person, I feel like you're waiting for them to kind of step out of this logical portion and finally make you a solid offer. What does Taurus like about this person? What does Taurus like about their person of interest? Ooh. The Wheel of Fortune. Because there's a level of change here. Also, too, you can feel like, you know, what comes up comes down, right? Like, what is it? The uh, something you sow, you will reap. Like, this person may have had a level of karma, that happened and now they're back or they've learned some type of lesson with how they should handle this, your situation. And also too, there's a conclusion or transformation, right? 10. It's like they get it. There's something that's changed with inside of them. What's changed? What's changed? King of Cups. You see how it's all King energy? This person is more giving. This person, I feel like prior to this, was the one that sat back and you did all the work, where now it's something completely different. This person is the one that's giving. This person is the one that's calling you. They're the one that's putting in the work. What does Taurus not like about their person of interest? What's something that they don't like? Eight of Pentacles. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be totally frank. I'm sure there's gonna be some people that are hell pissed. But uh, I feel like Taurus, like, as much as you like having stability and consistency, you're still indifferent about the situation because it is kind of, like, mundane and a little bit boring. It's, like, the same thing over and over and over again. It's, like, something has to change. Something has to be switched up. Somebody needs to do something. Like, it's almost too calculated. It's, it's almost, like, too efficient. Like, for instance, and I'm not saying this is any of your guys' situation, but okay, we'll have sex Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where for you, you're like, no, I want to have it whenever I want, right? Or this person comes over and maybe you guys have a great time, but there isn't any sex at all, right? Like, I feel like there's offers here, but I just don't think it's, it's necessarily the offer that you want. Also, too, um, I think you guys just, uh, for sex-wise, I don't know why I'm saying this, you guys love differently. Ha ha your wants and needs are different, very, very different. And I think that for you, it's like this is going to take some time for, for you to get this person on your page. This is going to take some time, some teaching for you to tell them how you really feel, right? Like, hey, sex is important to me. And here's why. Because, you know, A, B, C, D, and E. Or, hey, um, great. I, I love I love having sex with you. However, 
I need to make sure that we understand, like, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's role play. Let's do something different, whatever. It's like you, you're getting to the point where you need to be honest about what's going on. And I just think it's hard for you because you don't want to hurt this person's feelings. And I just think that they, it's, it's, it's too, it's too like, you know what I mean? Okay. So the situation is the two of pentacles. Um, what's causing the two of pentacles? The two of wands. Okay. So there's definitely, here's my take on it. And I, maybe I'm totally wrong. You have Aries, right? And this is two of wands is Mars and Aries. So, you know, somebody wants to push forward with the situation. Somebody wants to take control and drive the situation forward. Um, and this can either be like with sex or aggression or romantically, right? However, there's one person, the Two of Pentacles, that's still undecided on whether or not this is worth it. So they're stalling. One person is trying to move forward while the other person has this stalled energy. Why do you keep showing me what's causing the stalled energy? The Seven of Cups. Somebody may have more than one option or more than one party. That's definitely Scorpio energy. Um, how does Taurus feel about the multiple Nine of Cups, Taurus? It may be you that have multiple suitors because how you feel about it is a Nine of Cups. Here's the funny thing is I don't necessarily think you're outright telling this person, hey, I'm dealing with multiple people. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I want or what I need, but I'm just out here living my best life doing me. Like, I don't think you're saying that. I don't think that that's being communicated to this person. However, that stalled energy, I feel like is more so on your side because you just don't know. There's something that's holding you back. What's holding Taurus back? The sun, happiness, a Leo. What's holding Taurus back from committing completely? The Eight of Cups, possibly a Pisces. It's it's also, and that's Saturn and Pisces. So it's it's very much like, uh, hmm, how do I explain this? I feel like right now you're not being very frank with your feelings on things and which direction you're going that's what i get heavy it's like you're 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 ready to settle down i just don't think you know with who and i think that you may be okay by yourself or possibly with a uh pisces or a gemini that also is a possibility or maybe you know you're a pisces Gem gemini cusp right that that's also a possibility because how would their partner feel about this Prince of Cups? Well, that just shot out. The Empress. Okay, so I think that this Prince of Cups is you, Taurus. I feel like you just don't know whether or not who you want to make an offer to. That's what I get, strongly. Um, why? Why is the offer not being given? because of the wheel of fortune change luck growth expansion sagittarius what is taurus waiting to change the eight of pentacles you see this that's your issue with this person and then here's the issue here also too you also taurus could not like the fact that this person isn't working on things maybe this person isn't necessarily uh putting the work in to make things right maybe they're not taking the time to take a look at the minute details and until this person has learned and until this person understands you know the fact that any type of relationship needs work you're not willing to completely commit or you feel like they've not run the gauntlet yet like it's still early in the game two of wands before you completely give yourself to one person Yo, I don't, I don't, 
think that there's anything wrong in that though. Hierophant, here we go. Before your intentions are clear, I think that you have to see things from a larger level, a, a grander scale, right? That's totally Taurus energy. Before you can commit to anyone, whether that is a Aries, <laughs> whether that's an air sign, whether that's a uh, Virgo, like you have to, or Aquarius, like you have to take a step back and you have to look at things from an aerial point of view, right? And I think for you guys, for whatever reason, it's like, you have to see this person putting in the work. You have to see that this person is doing the right things in order to live a certain life. In order for you to commit to this person, Taurus, it's like, show me what, you, show me what you're doing consistently, right? Show me your, you know, how you're planning to obtain this, whether it's money, maybe there's issues with money, or there's issues just with consistency, right? Either way, until you feel back to being balanced, you're not stepping foot. You're not going to force a situation. I said, am I right? Three of swords. Yeah. An end of a relationship. And it could be, too, that you're not willing to end a relationship to start something new until you really see what this other person is putting in here. Because there is a heavy possibility, Taurus, that you are dealing with two people. I do think that there are some of you guys that do have two different, uh, two different people that you're going back and forth with. I think one is a situation from your past that's coming forward, and the other one is a newer situation but one that's always hot and cold. And I think that your person from the past is coming in very strong and they're showing you what was lacking prior. I don't know why I think that, but I do. What's standing in the way here is the Queen of Swords. So how does Taurus feel about this Queen of Swords? Okay, Eight of Swords. That's definitely Gemini energy. Also, I think Cancer and Libra, one more time. How does uh, Taurus feel about this Queen of Swords? Four of Pentacles. There can actually be, this can actually be somebody that you're stuck on, okay? That could be something, right? This can be somebody else that's in the relationship that's being a pain of pain in the ass, right? And it's forcing you to really think about everything. Or this is somebody that's forcing you to think about your security, you know, your stability. What is yours? This person I also feel like is you are very guarded when it comes to this person. More information about the external influence. Just please want to more information about please. Ten of swords, Gemini, very much in your head. There's a level of heartbreak here. There's a level of heartache. Um, why? Because of this king, because of the king, maybe king of cups, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. How does Taurus feel about this king of cups? The Hierophant. I think that this is a person you really want to be with. Is this King of Cups? That's what I think. I think that King may also have some type of situation or relationship because how does this Queen of Swords feel about Taurus? Whoa. Ten of Wands. Like you won't go away. Like you're very persistent. You're holding on. So pulling forward. More information about the external influence, please. Of course. Two of Pentacles. See, here's the Two of Pentacles. Taurus, this can also be the person from your past or, you know, this newer person who's kind of keeping you along. It's a level of embarrassment almost because, you know, either you or this person are juggling. The Queen of Swords can actually be you stuck in your head, not knowing what to do, what choice to make, right? That's very Libra energy. Six of Pentacles, you're bored. 
you know, you may feel guilty for the fact that you're bored with this person. I'm telling you, there's one person, okay, for those of you guys that are dealing with two people, okay, you don't have to admit it in the comments if you don't want to, but I do think that there are some of you that are dealing with multiple people. I think that you, you are the queen of swords right now because you're the one that's influencing this, and I know I'm right, because you're in your head about, you know, what is yours. You're in your head about whether or not you should offer yourself, whether or not you should give, whether or not you should... You know, um, look at this from a financial aspect. Like, do I be with this person just because there's a level of stability here? Or do I be with this person, you know, uh, because of whatever, right? And I think that it's really, really causing you this ten of swords because you have to make a decision. You have to make a conclusion to something that's very challenging. And it may be the fact that you feel like you have to cut off this, you know, King of Cups, this water sign that's emotionally giving, or, you know, you may have to cut off something, either the past one or the new one. This more so feels like a newer energy to me because you know that that's what's right and it's hard for you because you're not ready to. And I feel like for you guys, you feel like you're being forced to do it. And no one likes to be told what to do, especially a fucking Taurus. Unless it's like, we're going to dinner, where do you want to go shopping, treat yourself? Like, those are the only things, like, a fucking Taurus wants to hear, honestly. Um, and here, take my black card, get what you want. <laughs> Besides that, like, being told, like, you have to make a choice, that's hard. Like, that sucks, right? 